Good evening everyone from Leopire tonight and welcome to episode 6 of Kind of Latvian. Uh, Joe, it's been, we're, we're going hard. Yeah. This is good. More episodes, more content. Yep. More, uh, more joy. Uh, more joy. <laughs> more joy. Yeah, we need more joy. Yep. Yeah. But, how have you been? Doing alright? Doing alright, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Help a guy out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing well. Doing good. well. Keeping keeping active, which you know, is always that good. fits the yeah. theme. Yeah, the theme. And if you haven't guessed tonight, the theme <laughs> of the podcast is sports culture. Sports culture in Latvia. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Joe. I think we both grew up in uh, cultures that like sport yeah well, well what did you grow up watching what was your 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 you know your go sports, sports. yeah go to sports that you watched yeah so um I, i'm like the youngest of three boys so i did whatever my brothers did basically uh, so yeah, so <laughs> yeah follow them. yeah uh so yeah <clears throat> basketball was definitely the big one for the family yeah so we're we we're all pretty tall and um but yeah i think growing up we watched a lot of sports watch baseball Amer- i want to say football all the time but okay. american football yeah um sundays were big like sports days so basketball nba games or football so. and are we talking like tv or live or no oh, tv no TV, we yeah. were we didn't have money to go oh, okay <laughs> but even local teams did you nah no. it's like yeah they have Arizona has a lot of professional teams, so we would watch. So we, we weren't really big fans of Arizona teams, actually. Yeah, hmm. but um, yeah, we were big into like all sports, I would say. But basketball was definitely the biggest one. Okay. And we had these like you know Sports Illustrated. Have you heard of yeah magazines? the magazines? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had like a year review uh, sports tape they would send out every year, hmm. and that was like somehow that was burned in my memory like all, all the highlights from that year like top 100 plays or yeah, whatever, yeah something like that and we'd watch it every christmas we'd get it on christmas and sit and watch that so and like sports cards i was deep into that oh, yeah. collecting cards trade the, trade them as well with friends or for so. sure yeah say save them um, trade them um, sell them um, and all that so and and then I was big into like sports posters. My walls were covered with like basketball players and nice. And I created like a collage. I was thinking about that today. Like <laughs> my whole collage. door, like, on my back of my door in my uh, my room growing up was a Jor- Michael Jordan collage. Like, oh yeah. Cut out all like I'm talking like hundreds of photos of Jordan and just like wow covered my whole door with pictures of Jordan so sports were a big deal as a kid yeah. so how about how about that's you <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> call me off guard with the collage yeah of Michael Jordan yeah but, uh, it's be, like a shrine yeah you like need to show shrine. me at some, at some I was thinking yeah, I, I, I must have find a picture that, I need to find the picture of that uh, yeah. yeah now for for me growing up like obviously being born in Canada you know it's in the blood you have to watch hockey like hockey hockey yeah. is the sport of the nation and yeah and uh yeah i grew up you know watching it um going to some games uh with my family what like when, when we still lived in canada and then um and then we moved to but again baseball was a big aspect as well enjoyed baseball um and uh then we moved to scotland and talk about like changes in the culture like yeah. there's hardly any hockey there they don't really, really know what it is and there yeah. was there was a team that we kind of followed in the but you know it wasn't the same quality it was fun yeah um but so my sports kind of watching it switched to football like so oh, here we go like you european football, football yeah no, just call it football <laughs> yeah so uh <laughs> so football um huh. and then you know enjoyed the tennis culture as well we got into tennis watching that uh you know wimbledon that's mm. a big part of it hmm. the british kind of culture and mm. yeah so and you know 
once you're in a culture you kind of have to you kind of have, have to adjust to what they like so yeah. you know rugby was really big to watch you know i yeah. didn't friends played it but i just kind of if, if if scotland were playing on for rugby then you would watch that so yeah. so yeah. it kind of changed but you know mm. um enjoyed watching sports always but yeah okay yeah and what were the like you played watched different things which ones like stuck what were the what was your sports history that you like begun playing like me personally playing yeah oh, okay yeah. like <laughs> wow. um so it was weird like again the canadian blood in us we were we were skating on the frozen pond when we were two like yeah. you know what i mean like you they say you you're born with skates and yeah and some to some aspect that's true you you're you're skating before you're before you're walking and um hmm. but I never had a chance to play hockey in, in Canada because I was too young uh, we moved to Scotland and then obviously there wasn't a chance to play hockey so I got into you know uh, football played a lot of football growing up hmm. um, also in Canada played a bit of football when I was young um, so that kind of carried on um, I, I kind of just put my hand to any anything I could get I was always outdoors playing something and Hmm. gone to basketball volleyball um but then i kind of narrow <laughs> but we'll see that one yeah but then uh then i kind of you know you, you you there's a point where you narrow down yeah. so you play everything yep. and my sport was uh, tennis and that was my main sport for hmm. many years and hmm. and uh yeah thankful to my parents who, who took me to training and had a really good school teacher who my geography teacher who actually was a tennis coach mm. for the school nice. he took a lot of time and and just uh developed me as a player and um so that was good and then actually but my dream was always to play hockey like that was my dream and it was a, it was a, it was hard to find that in in scotland yeah. um huh. especially you don't really start that kind of sport at that such late stage of life yeah so I went along to like a tryout or something and I sucked and like they were like, hmm. you need to work on your skating ability. Yeah. Like I, I would play on the street with rollerblade and, you know, just mess around. Yeah. Uh, play with my dad and, um, and then we were like, oh man, okay. So I went away, worked a little bit, came back and, uh, and had a, had a, we knew one of the guy's fathers on the team and he kind of helped me to get in and, and I was first seasons, I was awful first season actually here's a funny story the coach was yeah not the best coach okay. pretty low hockey in scotland everyone plays hockey just to fight like okay. that's a that's objective it's like the one place to get your aggression nice and all the ice rinks are in these very rough areas okay. like they're rougher areas yeah so yeah. the two things go together yeah and i was young and at that point they, they didn't have an under 18s team um and and I, it was an under, I think it must have been an under 21s team. And I was 16, never really played. Coach didn't play me at all. I was just sitting on the bench. And then we, we, we were rubbish. We were losing every game like 12 0. Yeah. Like, you're not playing. <laughs> that's fun. Not playing. I was sitting there like, oh, Eesh. this is fun. And he would let me always go out like the last minute of the game. I'm like, nice. Yeah. And I remember once I was on the bench in a rough game. And we're losing. And uh -huh. he comes to me on the bench and he's like, you want to play? Yeah. And I was like, yeah like yeah. You know, I wasn't a confident kid and he's like see that guy there go out and fight him and I look at this guy and no joke he's got a full beard oh yeah, he's God. got a kid in the stands like watching him <laughs> and he's like a 16 year old guy it's like <laughs> like I'm not going to go out and fight this guy like no what way. I don't I don't like this that much but anyway long story short you know I uh, um, I worked through that season and then the next season they changed the, the league format hmm it went down to like under I think it was under 16s no under 18s at a time got mm -hmm. some good coaches nice they developed me saw my strengths it t took time to actually say oh he's got potential mm -hmm. and through that um, started playing hockey and went to university and um, played hockey there um, for the team and yeah it was good enjoy it I miss it miss and then through the time playing tennis as well in my so tennis and hockey but love sports yeah yeah and you miss the what do you miss about playing i think oh i like the the i'm never going to be like a professional but i like the idea of okay we're training we're going to work hard mm -hmm. we've got a game at the weekend that mentality of yeah. you go and have fun but you also you're there to work and 
Yeah. And just like the time with the guys and just um, with the boys. With the boys, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, sometimes there was yeah, girls in our team too. Which, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> most of them were better than most of the boys, but <laughs> okay, nice. so so it was uh, huh. yeah, lots of stories from the hockey days, lots of funny, crazy times. Mm. I think yeah, I could go on for days about that. But how about you, Joe? What was your your? Yeah. So you mentioned you mentioned basketball, and I heard a rumor that you were like drafted for the <laughs> for the NBA. No, no, you were you were ranked in America as a basketball player. Yeah, and there's like official websites that rank the best high school players. Okay. And there's like four or five of those. I was on none of those. Oh. It was like a, it's probably a, a joke. It's probably one of my parents made like a website no. themselves <laughs> and put my name on there. No. But it was, I was in college and I had stopped playing and uh, I was searching for like some of the guys I played with, what they're doing. Yeah. And that's how I found it. Like, oh, really? I was searching for a buddy of mine. He was playing in Europe, and uh, I was like looking through the list. Of course, LeBron James, number one, yeah. a few other guys made the league, and then go down and like I don't know, hundred fifty, two hundred. There's Joe person. No so way. I thought it was a prank. Like yeah, I was yeah. like looking around my room. Is this like a hidden camera right. show? But yeah. So um, by that time, I was no good. I was wow. like, I didn't really. Well, care. That's pretty cool. Yeah. On a list with LeBron James. Yeah. But did you start at a young age and you just kind of worked through, you know, the junior development and... Yeah, so, yeah, we, like, I, again, I, I played whatever my brothers played, yeah. so I was, like, I'm five years younger than my oldest brother, and then two and a half years younger than my the middle brother, so I was always playing with, like, older, with them or older yeah. kids, and that, that's really good for you. Um, yeah, help pushes you, you to the next. Yeah, help helps you develop level. quicker and physically, and uh, men <clears throat> also the mentality that you can play with people older you and do fine. So, so basketball was, I think, from age five I was playing wow. almost daily for yeah. like I don't know how many years. Um, so, that I loved basketball. I was forced to play golf because oh, we were yeah. yeah. Like being from the home, like growing up in the home of golf, I was, and you've got your Scottish connections there as well. You're, you're part Scottish. So. Yeah, but that's let's save that for another. Okay. Episode. <laughs> but you you like golf? Yeah, you're... I did kind of, but golf like Arizona has tons of courses, so yeah. it's like, it was a good reason f to get us boys out of the house during okay. the summer. Yeah, but it's like plus forty, and you're outside the hottest part of the day trying to play golf and yeah. we weren't I wasn't that good I think my brother Tim and Rob were pretty good um, but the funniest thing was it's an expensive sport yeah. to buy like legit clubs and everything yeah. we had like hand down second <laughs> hand clothing store golf yeah. clubs and stuff we playing with wooden wooden clubs still yeah <laughs> so then there was like you know you walk up to put your clubs and then you go and like sign up and all yeah, that. Yeah. And there would be these huge bags, like 15 clubs. And I'd put mine and it was like a glorified sock. It was like <laughs> fabric and it would all slide down to the bottom. And my <laughs> clubs would just be sitting there. <laughs> just the metal clubs. It was humiliating. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And then being out in the heat, you're not yeah. that good. It, it's, yeah. I don't have great memories. Yeah. But I, I could still play. Like, we should go for a round of golf. Yeah. Maybe Riga has a golf course, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've, Dude, we I've should. consider it. Yeah. But it's like, it's such a hard sport. Yeah, it's frustrating. Yeah. You and hit one good shot and then you yeah, mess it's everything a up. Super mental game. So... Yeah, so basketball, uh, golf, played some football, as oh. you call it, growing up, like as a kid. Everyone kind of played yeah. it, like, like European, European football. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> nice. Uh, quickly learned I don't like that as much, and baseball. So yeah. baseball, I kind of played a little bit, but kind of yeah. lost interest. So basketball was the big one. Oh, so. That's your main one. Yeah. And I had a dream to play on this team right here. Oh, yeah, um, the University of Arizona, they had a really good team, um, really good coach, 
when I was growing up and went to his camps a lot. Oh, nice. And, uh, and was doing really well and, uh, developing, growing physically. Like I was taller, usually tallest kid in my class. And, yeah. and then I just like kind of around the time I started coming to Latvia, I started losing interest more mm-hmm. or less. Still like playing, but I, the drive, you have to like keep wanting yeah. to get better. And so I almost didn't play my last year in high school. Um, just didn't want to put in the work and yeah. I knew I wasn't going to, at that point I, knew I wasn't right. going to play professionally. So it's kind of like lost the passion. Yeah. I could have, I wanted to like work or yeah. like relax a little bit Yeah, because I'd played for so long. So, so then I, I, I came to Latvia on a mission trip for the summer and didn't pick up a ball for two months. I lost a bunch of weight because I was like eating camp food yeah. for, for two months. And, uh, and then we went to the tournament was at U of A and, uh, one of the assistant coaches came to my game and literally had the worst game of my life. Like. <laughs> I, I, it was like, I got oh, off the yeah. plane, I think two days later, the tournament started. Yeah. I was so out of shape, hadn't touched a basketball in two months. And it's like, I guess that's the end of oh, that dream. Man. When the scouts come, <laughs> didn't perform. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was just at that point I was slowly lo- losing interest. And that was like the final nail in the coffin. It's like, yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So, oh, um, but yeah, I think the. I was also supposed to keep growing. That was another thing with basketball, like being tall helps a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I, I kind of stopped growing in like ninth, 10th grade. Yeah. And so the doctor said I should have been a lot taller than I was. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. like a few inches taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow. there you uh, go. So interesting. yeah, but then like growing up, we played, we had a basketball hoop in the front yard and we'd just play every day. Yeah. We had some grass in our backyard. We actually had some grass, which is weird in Arizona. Yeah. We played football, American football and like tackle each other and play all day and go in the pool. And so sports were a huge part of life just growing up. Spending hours just creating... Did you, did you ever create those like scenarios yeah. in your head, like the, t- the clocks running Two minutes out? Left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. And you end up winning it for your team, and of course, always. <sighs> yeah. There's something special about those times, eh? Yeah. The hope of <laughs> being the hero. Yeah, 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 man, for sure. So, you did mention you mentioned football. Remember that time quickly, of the, remember in the Czech Republic, we were there for a conference and we put together. They have the the. Uh, the football tournament between the different countries yeah teams. do you remember when we we made a team for that it was like me you fletcher i think edgar's uh, also yeah. was on it. yeah do you were <laughs> yeah we and, were. and we were we turned up we didn't have anything and all the other people had like sh- like full strips gear and stuff full, like uh football boots and we were like in our trainers like what's going on yeah, yeah safe yeah. to say we got destroyed but you know have fond memories of uh, camaraderie yeah camaraderie camaraderie yep yeah so so sports was like I guess we both I mean, a significant part of our childhood and for sure and like coming over to Latvia I think that's one thing within the culture that it's almost like an international language sports isn't it mm-hmm. it's like music but like with sports there's some some things that, that just go through cultures and stays and yeah. I think Latvia the culture is quite a sporty culture would you yeah would you say uh, sure yeah yeah <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i like it i feel like for such a small country they're they've actually created uh um a name for themselves on some of the big the big stages right yeah it's actually incredible yeah yeah i think you know under two million people, and you think of how many uh, <laughs> you're laughing at yeah. stuff. Let's go, <laughs> yeah. Hit us with some stats. Get their ratios out. <laughs> Joe, Joe's, Joe's, <laughs> under two million people. Yeah, yeah if yeah. you compare like how many amazing athletes they wow. create in all different sports, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. 
So who, who's your who's your if you say okay who's your go to Latvian? Uh, sportist. Sportist. <laughs> Athlete. Uh, it's changed, but I'd say Maris Briedis. Oh. Oh, I think he's he's really significant and doing well. Yeah. So nice. and again, like yeah, it's like he just kind of came out of nowhere and he's, suddenly he's a world champion so I love it yeah. how about you who's your Lat- <laughs> who are you a big fan of in Latvia fan of I uh oh sugar yeah it's a good question <laughs> I <laughs> I was going to say like being a tennis fan when Ostapanko won the French Open at like a young age I think she was what 18, 19 like that was massive that was like yeah Jah. yeah and then she hasn't yeah like she hasn't done a lot since but that was a big moment so yeah. that was pretty pretty cool um i think for some of the like whenever being a hockey fan some of the latvian nhlers uh um um mares lincoln's right now he, he's a goalie for columbus sure uh so and some of the other guys like it's 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 cool to to see where they're at um, yeah yeah but i guess being in leopaya Shocker. We have to mention Porzingis, don't we? <laughs> I think yeah. he he just took like you being a basketball fan. He took the NBA like by for storm. a show, basically. Yeah. Well, yeah, by storm. Yeah, yeah. Like it was incredible. Yeah. So that yeah, that's the weird thing. There were I think at, when he he came in, there were at one point there was four guys in the NBA. Mm. Latvians. Yeah. Yeah. Four Latvians. It's pretty incredible. But yeah, he was like. I think for Latvian, it seemed like a lot of Latvians didn't know he existed because he was like in Spain. Yeah, that's right. And then suddenly he's in getting drafted, and New, I think New York's a good place to get your name out there. So yeah, he did a good job with that. So, yeah. but yeah, I think. And then a few years ago, there was the Strom Strombergs, oh, the BMX the guy BMXer, was yeah. like, yeah. I think he won two Olympics in a row, yeah. almost three. Yeah. Uh, I remember seeing him at a cafe and I was like, oh, he's got a gold medal. Oh. Yeah. Did you go for it? You're like, hey, hey Stroms, can I get a little, a little selfie? No. I didn't do that. No. But he would, I didn't even notice him. And then he, someone was like pointing a camera at him and I, and I was like, oh, that's him. Nice. So, nice. but like, cool. yeah, he's first two Olympic gold medals ever that's also incredible like yeah. a little latvia created monster that really really talented athlete so yeah, yeah it's it's crazy and, and the guys that just won the three-on-three basketball yeah so amazing incredible incredible um i think like you said like i think it's something for latvians to be proud of of, of yeah of these guys who are representing well and and yeah put in Latvia on the map and yeah. I think that's it's great to see and hopefully it keeps on going like like we talked about a little a list of people and the, it's quite an extensive list of some really good yeah. really good athletes and, yeah. and uh, yeah it's great for the the, the culture yeah. it's great for something to be proud of like I think one thing is uh, the fan culture as well yeah. at least for hockey like the world championships I was so disappointed that this year we couldn't go to the games because yeah. it was held in Riga yeah yeah and like Latvians are known to be like the best fans for that like the huh. loudest and most supportive they're yeah. just huh. they're they're known to be the the the, the life of the party and and hmm. I remember you said about the three guys went in the um the basketball like tournament I remember I was out in Leopold and you could hear around the city just yeah. people cheering like from their houses whatever and you're like, yeah that's awesome. great it brings it bring brings people together and Yep. So let's go. Let's go Latvia and continue to support. Keep going. And there, there's a guy too. I can't remember his name, but he's not bobsled, but uh, like oh, one the skeleton. Luge? Skeleton. He's like won gold yeah, medals yeah. and stuff. Or he got silver, I think. But the guy who got gold was doping or something like oh, that. Okay. So nice. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. it'd be. It makes sense of. They were really good in winter sports, and that's it. Yeah. But like, the, they have so many good athletes oh, and so yeah. many. You want to hear my theory? Why? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not even a question. Of course, I want to hear your theory. 
Why? Why? Well, I think it is because of the... Wait, your theory... Sorry. Your theory why to there's why so many, Yeah, why so many good yeah. athletes in such a small country? So... Hit us up. <laughs> it has some statistics behind it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, the thought is like... So, when I was growing up playing basketball, I was good for my area. And then... But there's so many people that are just as good or better than me. Yeah. And it seems like here is like if you show some potential early on, you get, I think, a lot more. One, you get spotlight, like mm-hmm. people notice you a lot easier. And then I think you get like a lot more attention and uh, probably good training that isn't necessarily available to yeah. everyone in the States because, yeah, yeah there's so many, so many more athletes. So that's, I think, it helped. Yeah. For team sports, I don't see that happening because that's more yeah broad but like for one individual to really develop and get good input and Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get their name well known and i think that's like uh what's it called the self like not fulfilling but like your confidence grows you play better your confidence grows. you play better so it's like creates a cycle of if, if you're getting you're being recognized as a good player it just kind of multiplies or what's yeah, that called yeah. you know what i'm talking about i think so yeah just <laughs> it builds up and yeah uh, yeah so what well, so that's your theory too, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you're <laughs> waiting for more uh, theory. <laughs> no i think i think you my might theory is yeah something. the size of the, the scale the limit jeez <laughs> <laughs> you're mocking me again the the limit uh or like the size it's like i could be a really good player in arizona yeah and if all the money and energy was focused only on arizona then you can get like develop a lot quicker yeah so and i'd like to build on this this theory if i can <laughs> if i could get my name in the <laughs> in the footnotes of this theory Do it. Do it. is the extensiveness of like availability for high quality training in mm. Latvia is incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, like you, you're talking, okay, they have the things called the sports schools, whatever, on top of your normal school. Yeah. And I looked for one day, I thought it would be interesting just see what they offer. And so I looked at the tennis school mm-hmm. and you're talking training every day, five days a week, mm-hmm. plus games. And even some days, I think there was two trainings a day. Yeah. It was like a physical and on court. Hmm. I was like, that's a professional yeah. uh, schedule. Schedule, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like w- you know, for for us growing up, it was I I had I had tennis training maybe twice a week. Yeah. I had hockey training maybe once a week. Yeah. That was yeah. it. Mm-hmm. But this is like you're in yeah. it. You're in the schedule, and, and it's great to see. I like there is that fear of is it too much? Like our kids not enjoying yeah. their yeah. their childhood. But I I think if you love sport and they love the sport, then why not? What yeah. a great opportunity. And the crazy thing there is like, okay, maybe it is, you know, there is, it's not available to everyone, but yeah. like, it was like for this, it was like 20 euros a month for f- almost full-time training. That's crazy. And it's like, it's actually, it's a av- bit like available for people. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think there is the availability and actually the, the, um, within the culture there, there is that desire that the kids, uh, do some kind of sports, I guess. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sorry, am I getting too animated here? No, hands you're here? good. Yeah. You're, you're making fun of me. I want to make fun of you. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that. It seems like most people have a sport. Yeah. Whereas like, yeah, you know, there was more, growing up, there's more artistic kids who are mm. more musical, but they, they probably weren't as interested in sports. So yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so it's uh, probably. But, oh, go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> no, no, go. What do you have? I was moving on. So uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take it away. So what what's been your experience playing sports in in Latvia? Um, I think a big one is is actually helped me to integrate into the culture. Boom. I think that's like go. the biggest. Like, and even small things, whether that's you know with with some friends at the beach and. And you're playing volleyball, and other people just come and ask to join in. Or, yeah, or have you board, had that? Or ball. I have, yeah, a number of times actually, and it's okay. you know it's it's good, and yeah, um, and you meet people through that way, um, or it's like you get involved in some kind of team, and yeah, and um, 
um, you know, I, it was good. I had a, had a known person like invite me into their hockey. They had a hockey team in the amateur league here and they, mm. they invited me into that. And, uh, nice. that was great. It's weird though. Like I love the changing room culture of just like everyone's having a laugh and stuff. And, yeah. And I was always growing up. I was always quite quiet in the changing room too. I kind of kept to my own. I would laugh at stuff, maybe throw out a little jokes, but nothing. Yeah. I was I was a quiet, quiet guy, shy guy. Got it. And so like going into here, I just love the atmosphere of it. But then plus being in another language is just like, you, yeah. It's hard to get fully in it. Yeah. Like it's hard to throw those jokes around or or mess around. But you know, and then you end up being like the butt of the jokes for some of them because you're the foreigner. It's like yeah. okay. <laughs> like I find it quite fun. Like for some reason, eat like did did you eat bananas ever before training or like sports games? Probably. Yeah. Like I thought that was a thing, like a normal thing. Yeah. So I I go into the change room here and like I'll have a banana before training. Yeah. And apparently that's like the funniest thing ever. Is like why would you have a banana <laughs> before training? And I'm like <laughs> yeah, that's a. I'm pretty sure like that's what people do. Like yeah. So now it's like oh, you know the banana guy, you know. <laughs> Did, your bananas yeah <laughs> did you have guys like chugging mineral water after games and stuff no that no. was also weird like yeah like carbonated water they would drink it during like playing <laughs> and mineral water and i was like these feel horrible yeah does that not mess up your tummy i don't know but yeah. anyways yeah but no but in general like i've gone a bit into the the tennis here in leopie too and that's great i got a close friend who's kind of got me into that culture and mm -hmm. and it's good it's nice. good a great way to meet people stay active um and uh i actually know what like i know you've been doing a bit of running as well and and uh and i've been trying to get going too you yeah. know what i've noticed lately i don't know if you've noticed this some runners are starting to acknowledge totally. the other runners i like that i love it yeah but i've never had that before this year oh, okay. in Leopold. Huh. And now I'm getting little waves, little head nods. Yeah, and yeah. It's nice. You like that? <laughs> yeah. You like the special Latvian looks and oh, stuff? Oh, the special Latvian looks. And talking about that, going into the changing room, is I love the atmosphere of when you go in, it's time. You have to go around everyone. You have to shake oh, everyone's right. hand. You, you just, it's it's like a part, part of the process. And it's yeah. like, okay, yeah. let's go to work now. I love it. Love it. Yeah. I was like offending people by not doing I didn't know about that and right when I moved here I was playing in the league and I would just shake you know shake people's hands I knew yeah. and then not others and I didn't realize how offensive that was so a lot of mannerisms yeah yeah so tennis hockey anything yeah. else volleyball volleyball in volleyball you summer. play volleyball or volleyball <laughs> volleyball <laughs> yeah well after I eat my vegetables but yeah uh, <laughs> A banana plus vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, volleyball, you know, I play with whatever's on the go. Okay. If it's available, let's go. I would love to introduce be baseball into the Latvian culture. Mm -hmm. That would be interesting. Yeah. To see if it picks up here. Mm -hmm. But but no. But what about you? Like, did you, did you come straight to Latvia and like when you moved here, were you like, all right, I need to find some basketball to get to get part of? No, I, there was one league like Matthew's church had a league that I played in that yeah I don't think it was right away but at some point I started playing and it was again by that time I was bad I was out of shape and the level of the league was pretty low so I played a few years and then a friend of mine invited me onto their it was like double amateur league or something like oh. that it was it was like pretty good level um I again I was bad I was like it was no longer like fun fun like it was right. just kind of like yeah I'll play but we won the league oh nice and like to say thank you the coach gave us 150 euros each I was yeah. like that's a good time to that's call it a quit I, I, I retired officially I got paid yeah to play basketball wow at the end of the year like after we won I, I forget why they paid us yeah from their company or something but yeah we won the double amateur league nice um but again like and then i played in different tournaments and i just more and more was like yelling at referees and uh, yeah feeling horrible because i'm so out of shape and it just slowly became clear it's time to give it up yes yeah, it's, it's time 
it's not fun anymore and I'm not I'm going like they have the 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 like um uh, tournament here in Leopold for all the churches. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone's screaming at these poor refs and I'm like What's what do these refs think about Christians after this event? It's like <laughs> so yeah. So but I'd say yeah, I, I played here really low level. Ah, oh, I played in the ghetto basket a few times oh, did you? too. Yeah, oh, nice. years and years ago. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. A few friends. I actually love that. Like that is you know uh, unreal. Maybe maybe it's something. Maybe not for this episode, but what a great idea! Like yeah, for sure. Come on. Yeah, and it it blew up. So I yeah. played um, a few times, but it's like the games happen so fast, and yeah. it's like it's a different type of basketball so we like played a few games we, I was like what's now I was like we lost her out I was like oh nice. mm-hmm. okay I didn't know for the day <laughs> yeah but the the concept was really really cool yeah. so yeah did that I think that's it I think only yeah really basketball yeah I'm getting them to running like an old man so oh, man. yeah but yeah I noticed that too there's one area in where I run that Everyone in that area waves. And that's I was like, good. This is this is community. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, but I feel like the amateur leagues here are are better though than back home. I yeah. feel like the standard is better. Okay. I remember actually, <laughs> funny story. I I got my um one amateur hockey team that was associated with the university team to come over to play a, a tournament in Riga. Hmm. Oh man, alive! That what? was a bad idea. Yeah. Like, we got destroyed. Like, these guys, like, a lot of the, on the Latvian, you know, and the other countries that were there, it was international tournament. Like, they had ex, you know, whatever, oh, professionals, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And we were, like, the guys who came, they were they came for the party in Riga, right? Okay. So they were already, they are feeling a little rough. They are handing a little okay. loose. And literally, it was like, the time you followed the puck, the time it was like, there he would pass it i've already passed it like four times before you caught up to yeah, it. yeah, yeah. oh man and it was crazy there's i remember this one game funny <laughs> just like quick. okay so we were we had a game in the morning right yeah a lot of the guys in the team they went out the night before or whatever you didn't you were uh, no i, I, I went to bed in your yeah. hotel room. <laughs> i was i was preparing for the game mentally about what was going through <laughs> strategies now <laughs> and then you know riga has like three or four rinks yeah so we we had this game it was against a good team as well and we was like we got to the change room and there's like only half our team there and we're like what's going on you know mm-hmm. where's everyone like what's come on yeah. and we like played like the first i think one or two periods against this unreal team we got destroyed we're all like we're not in shape whatever yeah yeah and and then next you know the, the other half the team turned up just to play the third period and they ended up the the taxi driver took them to all four rinks Eesh. and the last one was the right one oh, okay. so obviously they hopped in and they're like to the ice rink yeah and they, they yeah. went to one rink and then then they went to another rink and it was like so that 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 destroyed us but yeah. fun to tell the stories after but, but huh. i feel like the amateur levels in the leagues are well way more uh um well developed well developed yeah. professional yeah. yeah so yeah i think sports something important to us right oh yeah sports important to latvia it's, it's it helps us connect <laughs> it helps us be kind of latvian together <laughs> <laughs> but funny story about that that after stromberg won his i don't know if it was his first goal or second we went to a concert the prata vatra oh yeah they had, they had their concert right in arena uh, riga or no scanto no. oh yeah yeah close to there nice so it was one of their last songs they they're singing and then all of a sudden like the the bmx team rode out on their oh boy on their bikes and they had he had his metal oh, on man. and like not fireworks but like smoked and all this like cool stuff and it was like it was a legit feeling you just think like how proud all these oh. people are that they yeah. have a gold medalist in their yeah. country so yeah it's a uh, it does, yeah. Sports can bring people together and yeah, build up a nation. Yeah, I think like, there's a lot of national pride in there. Yeah, it's healthy too, right? It's healthy. Oh yeah, that's also the benefit. <laughs> and <laughs> I find it also a way to switch off. I don't know, especially being a foreigner. 
like you were saying you were getting frustrated when you were play, playing basketball but sometimes I felt that was a place to let some frustration out yeah it's like okay maybe you yell at the ref a bit but actually that might be sure. just you know that might just be something the frustration and the challenges of living in a, a culture that's not your own yeah and yeah. finally you go into something that is familiar mm-hmm. and and maybe that's like a way of to yeah take a deep breath or something yeah I, yeah I know it's uh, been missing sports lately and and, and it kind of yeah 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 so let's keep going Latvia keep uh, keep training That's great right. athletes and and uh, yeah let's keep being active so thank you for watching uh, yeah we we really appreciate you guys support and comments and messages and mm-hmm. we're we're trying to get back on the horse and get some more episodes out yeah. and uh you can say a prayer for Liam that he'll get the episodes out on time. <laughs> a little chirp there <laughs> no <Yeah. but> we, <laughs> we, sorry one person's the face of the show the other person does all the hard work <laughs> that is the truth no. yeah so <laughs> It's your show. You do no, all you're the hard work. Uh, yeah, one show, one person show, and one person doing all the work. We agree on that. No, no, no. So thank you for for supporting us. Keep sending ideas. Keep, um, yeah, keep checking in. Share with your friends. We have a goal. We want to. You didn't mention it in the beginning. No, we want to get two hundred subscribers on YouTube by the end of this year. So you can go to YouTube. Follow us. Hit subscribe, click, click. That's good. Somewhere here, maybe yeah. it'll show up. <laughs> uh, so that's our goal, and and uh, if we hit two hundred subscribers by the end of the year, we're gonna spend a day. We're gonna pick a random follower. Yeah. Spend a day with them. Yeah. Give them the kind of Latvian treatment. Awesome. Yeah. We will work out the details later, cause yeah. yeah, we'll need to think of yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah I like. <laughs> We'll show them. We'll show them a good time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, any anything we missed about sports, throw it in the comments. And uh, yeah, see you next time. All right. Take care.